Hello and welcome to my channel. In this three-part video, we'll examine Mi Home and all of its settings. So, in this first video, we'll uh, have a look at the first tab, which is Mi Home. So, let's go. Okay, so let's run Mi Home. Once you run it, you will see that on the first screen, uh, you have uh, all devices in Mi Home that, that you added. Uh, in order to make it easier, you can filter those devices by type. For instance, display only the cameras or lamps or gateways or any other uh, type of device, motion detector, air humidifiers, purifiers, temperature and humidity sensors, body sensors, that's motion sensor, uh, power outlets, or just switches or remote controllers. But there is also a way to uh, display your devices as rooms. You will see a list of all the rooms in your home. And when you click on one, you will get all devices that are in that room, which can also be convenient. For instance, by clicking on living room, you just get living room devices. So, there is also a shortcut to add new devices. They are grouped by type. For instance, if you want to add a sensor, you just click sensor and, and you find the sensor in the list and, and you add it. Also, there is auto scan for devices which scans on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And there is an option to scan the QR code if you want to do that. Or you can just search. Uh, for instance, if you enter humidifier in the search field, you will get a list of all Xiaomi compatible humidifiers. Now you can also uh, manage your home. You can rename it. You can uh, create rooms. You can add home members and share the whole home with other people. You can select location, but as you can see, it works only for, ma for mainland China. You can also create another home by clicking the plus button if you have uh, several homes. And then there is also a shortcut to all the available cameras. There are two types of view, small or large. Once you click on that, it will authorize you by your fingerprint or your irises or whatever, and it will connect to the camera. Once you click the, the, the small button, you will go to the full interface of the camera. Now each device has a different interface. For instance, in the switch, you can only see the clicks that is the log, but in the case of the lamp, you can turn it on or off, set it to white color or some other color, set the intensity of white, as you can see from the interface, or just use the timer. There are also uh, two options. Uh, one is to flow the colors and the other one is uh, favorites. So you can uh, save your favorite colors and uh, intensity of light. This is the recommended scenes. candle flicker or you can just save your own uh, favorites. You can also turn on and off the lights from the interface by clicking on the on uh, icon. 
The light strip looks uh, exactly the same as the color bulb. But for instance, the ceiling has uh, two tabs, as you can see, main light and ambilight, uh, which you can control separately. This is a mono bulb. So as you can see, there is only on off and intensity. And on a smart bath heater, for instance, you can uh, turn it to heat, air change, dry, or just fan. Uh, for each uh, of these options, you have a selection of low, medium, or high, or turbo. And there is also the light, which you can turn on and off. And then there are switches. For instance, this is a smart switch. And uh, here you see automations and uh, also the lock. On the smart spy hole, you can see uh, a list of activities and a list of videos recorded, or you can just connect to it and uh, view the camera from the spy hole in real time. Then the air purifier, of course, you can turn it on or off in auto, night or manual modes. It will also display temperature and humidity and number of uh, PM 2.5 particles discovered. And it's the same for air humidifier, which will display uh, relative humidity of the air. You can turn it in low, medium or high modes. Then there, is a, there are power outlets, there are two types. Uh, this is the basic one, you can just turn it on or off or schedule. And there is an enhanced version which has a USB port on, which would also display a power consumption. Unfortunately, mine has such low power consumption that it doesn't display anything because only the hub is connected to it. Then there are hubs themselves, uh, as you can see, they have uh, much more options. You can then enable the alarm, turn on the light and uh, manage all the automations, automation rules. And you can see all the all sub devices. So devices uh, that are Zigbee are connected directly to, to the hub. So you have to choose, if you have multiple hubs, you have to choose to which hub you will connect those devices. And there are also options to update firmware and change time zone. And this is a new uh, Mi third generation hub, which has fewer options because it doesn't have a light or a speaker. Then there is a desk lamp, which is pretty similar to all the lights. It has an extra focus mode. Door sensors, which just show you the lock when door was last opened or closed. Then there is a water sensor, which just tells you that there hasn't, uh, hasn't been any leak. And a vibration sensor, which gives you the lock with all the vibrations or tilts of the windows or door detected. Then there is a temperature and humidity sensor, which displays temperature, humidity and air pressure. And you can see the graph for day, week or month. You can just uh, zoom in and see it for every minute. And you can also do that with pressure. Then the gas detect detector doesn't say much, it just uh, goes like, I'm, yeah, I'm working. And you can see uh, the log if there's been a gas leak. Uh, or it, uh, it does self-test once a month. Then there's a smoke detector, which also doesn't do much. It just tells you when the alarm was triggered. And then there are uh, human motion sensors, which also display a uh, log when they were triggered and also the intensity of light in locks. Then there are switches, 
These are smart switches where you also see only locks when the buttons were pressed. Whether it was click or double click or long click. This is the remote also, which button was pressed. And uh, this is a new light detector, which d d displays the current brightness in Lux. And also there is a Mi Quartz watch, which you can add, which synchronizes your watch to your uh, telephone's time and also measures your steps. So you can see for each day how many steps you made on that day and you can group it by day, week or month. As you see, since we've been in quarantine, we, I haven't been walking much. So most part of uh, April was uh, empty. And then also you can group lamps and the interface is the same as if you would control single lamp. And that's about it for this part. And next part we'll examine uh, the middle tab, which is automations. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you like my channel, please subscribe.